What I'm going to show you today is I'm going to show you the blend modes in Luminar and how they work. I'm going to show you via adding a texture layer. Blend modes we'll be looking at in this quick video. Darken, Multiply, Colour Burn. I'm reading them from the screen. Lighten, Screen, Overlay, Soft Light, Hard Light, Difference, Subtract, Hue, Colour and Luminosity. So without any further ado, let's dive right in and see how they affect your images. What I'm going to do via a texture layer is just show you how the blend modes work. I'm going to apply the texture the same way as I did before. Add filter and texture overlay and I've already got one sitting for this. It's on my desktop and it's dust particles and I'll open that. I'll get that out of the way. With the texture layer you can zoom this in and out to what you want. And I know because I've already done this image previously that that there is not what I'm after. So I am going to the lighter area there. I'm going to expand this just ever so slightly to about there. And the next thing I am going to do is go through the blend modes. And I'll put a description up on the screen of what exactly happens when you choose the blend modes. Normal is as it is. That's me as I've added the texture layer. Darken. Multiply. Colour bump. Lighten. Screen. Overlay. Soft light. Hard light. Difference. Subtract. Hue. Color. Luminosity. For this example, I'm going to show you the final edit using the blend mode of lighten. Remember as well, you actually have the option of just erasing areas or painting in areas. I can also turn the opacity of that down. I've got control of this. For me, I like the way it looks just now. I'm just going to dial it back a tiny part about there. I may adjust the zoom to about there. I can also turn the filters down if I want to around there. What I'm going to do now is add another texture to this. I want a few more sparks down here in this area. So I'm going to add another filter. I'm going to go texture overlay. I'm going to load the same texture in. I am going to flip it horizontally and then vertically. I'm going to scale it up. I'm just looking at these areas here. Nothing else. I'm, I'm not looking, I'm not bothering about anything that's here. It's just here, just to add a few more sparks in. And I'm going to turn the amount down. Take it to about, say, there. My blend mode, we are going to leave at normal, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to invert it 
and you'll see they've disappeared. I just want to add them in this area here. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to begin with a gradient mask and I'm going to click just about here and draw in a bit and you'll see them just creeping into the image. And if I show you the mask, that's how much of the image has been affected. Next, I'll zip through the entire edit for you and just let you see the final image. Well, I hope that gave you an insight into the blending modes in Luminar. Remember that you can build these blending modes up via different layers and just use using the brush, the radial filter, the luminosity masking. You can isolate the areas that you want it to affect. If you'd like to see any more tutorials on image editing, uh, just hit me up in the comments and tell me what it is you'd like to see, whether that's in Luminar or Photoshop. A uh, big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Uh, if you're currently not a subscriber but have enjoyed the video, take a look at the rest of the videos in the channel and then hit subscribe. Thanks again for watching.